Well, we're enjoying some kite flying today. It's Jim Powers. we are got my puppy here keeping me company. And we're testing out some uh, kite aerial photography uh, variations here. We've got a big uh, eight foot Rukaku tied off to 150 pound Dinama line right here. Let's see if I can zoom in. There we go. Anyway, it's got a large head knot tied to some uh, 150 pound Dinama line. And then further out, we got a whole bunch of line laundry out on the kite line today. And we're at the top. We got a blue kite team, eight and a half foot uh, Rukuku kite that is uh, flying in about 10, 10 mile an hour wind, maybe gust to 12. Uh, overall, pretty uh, nice day to fly kite. We have it up fairly high, trying to reach some steadier winds. Uh, and then we have a whole bunch of line laundry. These are uh, 20 meter tube tail and a couple of 15 meter uh, tails. All right next to that yellow streamer, you'll see a, uh, a GoPro hanging on a string. So that's the cap uh, that we're doing today. It's just a simple GoPro hanging on a string, spinning freely. Uh, we're testing out the video stabilization mode and also uh, time-lapse uh, still shots. So that's what's up there. And then there's a bunch more line laundry below it. And it's a little hard to tell. But if I zoom back out to normal, uh, you can see those kites, the kites up there pretty high. Um, over the Wind Watcher Proving Ground. So uh, we're testing this out. We'll hope to share some of this as part of the Cappy Zoom. Uh, that'll be uh, this coming weekend on January the 29th. All right, bye. All right, this little bit of a close up of the GoPro on the string. Again, it's just a piece of string attached to a Brooks hang up on the kite line. Kites further up the line, and just uh, about three or four feet hanging straight down. And I have a little modification on this GoPro. It has a place to actually screw in a tripod mount screw. And uh, it's a little bit hard to see here, but when it rotates around, you'll see that it, if I get my uh, hand on this, it actually hangs down at a slight angle towards the ground. Uh, just because the string is offset from the center axis of the um, tripod mount so the center of gravity makes it tilt down a little bit uh, and that gives you a, a little picture of that hanging there and right now it's taking 4k video uh, 4k 60 and i was able to control it up to about two to three hundred feet off the ground with my camera uh, excuse me, my cell phone uh, using a gopro app and I was able to change it from uh, different video modes uh, to uh, time-lapse mode. I do have stabilization on. Uh, we'll see what it looks like here in a little bit when we take a look at the video. Enjoy. As part of the cap testing, I was also testing out the crocodile line grips. Uh, and these photos here just kind of show the setup with the kite with the blue kite team, Rukaku at the top and a whole bunch of line laundry underneath uh, the kite and the actual glow pole is just uh, hung on a string as you see here just next to the yellow ribbon uh, and those tails you know the top of the kite are quite long they're over 20 meters in length so that gives you an idea of where we are and now we're back in GoPro into the sky enjoy
All right, we're trying to show the uh, GoPro Hero 10 Black using it in time-lapse mode for kite aerial photography on a very cold day over the Wind Watcher Proving Grounds. I uh, probably can barely make it out there, but there's a GoPro suspended on a simple string from the kite line, and the wind is just pushing it around uh, to give it different angles. And it's taking a picture every 10 seconds right now. And a little bit earlier, it was doing 4K video. And I can control it from the phone because uh, the camera is within the Wi-Fi range of the phone, which is several hundred feet, which is more than adequate for uh, the kite aero photography. So far, so good.
Right, next up are some still photos taken from the GoPro uh, here at 10 Black, uh, just a series of stills uh, that were taken. Uh, GoPro allows you to shoot with JPEG and RAW files, so you get basically two files for each shot. And these are the RAW files that have been edited in Adobe in Lightroom uh, just to, uh, you know, publish them. Uh, so that's like, some examples that you can see here. Um, Things I would also add here is that we were able to control the GoPro from the ground uh, just by using the Wi-Fi on my camera in the GoPro to the Wi-Fi on my phone. And I was able to get a good two to 300 feet in range. So I was able to switch it between um, the 4K video and then switch over to time-lapse mode. You can get the preview. Uh, pretty much control the GoPro and all the settings, you know, from the ground. Um, there were a couple times when I got beyond 300 feet uh, in distance uh, where I did lose connection, uh, but I'd say 300 feet on end, it was pretty steady. Um, so that was a, a good outcome uh, and gives you some flexibility and be able to change the uh, photo settings and exposure uh, again, this is just a GoPro on a string, so there's no control over the direction, the pan or the tilt. That's all driven by the wind, uh, and, but you can't control the, uh, the camera mode and the exposure settings. All right, we'll go back to some of the video here in just a second. Enjoy.
very close up to the GoPro on the string. Again, it's just a piece of string attached to a Brooks hang up on the kite line. The kite's further up the line. It's just uh, about three or four feet hanging straight down. And I have a little modification on this GoPro. It has a place to actually screw in a tripod mount screw. And uh, it's a little bit hard to see here, but when it rotates around, you'll see that it. I get my uh, hand on this. It actually hangs down at a slight angle towards the ground, uh, just because the string is offset from the center axis of the uh, tripod mount. So the center of gravity makes it tilt down a little bit, uh, and that gives you a, a little picture of that hanging there. And right now it's taking 4K video, uh, 4K 60. And I was able to control it up to about two to three hundred feet off the ground with my camera. I was using my cell phone uh, using the GoPro app, and I was able to change it from uh, different video modes uh, to uh, time lapse mode. I do have stabilization on. Uh, we'll see what it looks like here in a little bit when we take a look at the video. Enjoy. Okay, get back and see how this video looks. <laughs> 